जय हिंद गाइस सो दिस इज एडी रॉय रिपोर्टिंग फ्रॉम शिलोंग एंड टुडे आई एम एट टाटा शोरूम सो दिस इज फ्रैंक मॉडल्स द डीलर ऑफ टाटा कार शिलोंग सिटी सो यू कैन सी टुडे इज अ ब्यूटीफुल सनी डे एंड ब्लू स्काइज लेट अस गो इनसाइड in this is the showroom wow here in the front there is a safari here is a punch but today we shall concentrate on some other vehicle which is an unique concept by tata and yes you are right this is outdoor race car so what is the concept behind this special edition called race car You see, we already have this normal Ultra's variant as well as the I Turbo variant, which has been now discontinued post the Racer Edition being introduced. Now, Tata is well known to bring different versions of different cars. Remember the Camo Edition, the Dark Edition, the Kaziranga Edition of Nexon of Punch. even the dark edition existed in ultros so is it a new update or a new version i guess it's a mix of both see the normal ultros is is powered by a three cylinder petrol engine which produces 87 bhp of power and 115 newton meter of torque the i turbo version of ultros was provided with a nexon engine three cylinder used to produce 100 Can BHP of power and 140 newton meter of torque. Now, Altus sits between the Punch and the Nexon. It is less than four meter in length, but it's little smaller in dimension than Nexon. So, the car weight of Altus is 1,115 kilos as against. 1315 kilos of nexon now is altros vesa an update or a new version in fact is a mix of both because tata wanted to present a sporty car so they discontinued the i turbo variant of uh, altros introducing a more powerful engine which was doing duty in the nexon producing 118 bhp and 170 newton meter of torque sadly they discontinued the i turbo engine which was doing pretty well in the ultros because ultros is a little smaller and little less heavy than nexon the racer is targeted towards the the young and the enthusiast that means they wanted to present it as a sportier ultros with a little bit more power and torque plus body graphics and kits has it served its purpose well yes and no it looks sportier but at the same time the design looks little loud and extravagant in my opinion it comes equipped with a sporty spoiler The i Turbo Plus badge means it has the latest Nexon engine producing 118 bhp and 170 newton meter of torque. Has it really helped the Altus to behave like a sporty car? Well, a little bit of course. A bump in power by 10 hp and a 30 newton meter of torque is apparent when you drive the car on the road. Diamond cut alloy wheels with 16 inch tire do the duty on Altus. All the three trims of Racer version comes in dual tone and the rear door handle is placed on top of the C pillar the passenger side door doesn't have a passive entry and a glossy black finish below the window line the B pillar is matte black the RVM is again glossy black a racer badging projector halogen headlamps There is a fog lamp too and a DRL. All the versions of Racer comes with this black bonnet with the white stripes. Crown indicator is on the fender, not on the ORVM. The ORVM has lens for the 360 degree camera. 
driver side door has uh, keyless entry and the door opens 90 degree. Altros is based on the Atlas platform unlike the Nexon which gives this 90 degree door opening feasible. The top trim has got leather seats. Front two are ventilated ones. It has got white and orange stripes. You can see a 10.25 inch floating infotainment system inside the car and the steering is leather wrapped. This spoke instrument cluster is digital and it looks pretty good, really good, better than Nexon. And uh, you can see the steering is decut. You have this volume and telephony control on the left hand side of the steering. It has also got a wireless phone charger, a 12 volt socket, one type C and one type A socket, ultras written here and ambient lighting in red. The start stop uh, button is here and this uh, rear door also opens 90 degrees to the body but the space for getting your leg inside is little narrow making it little difficult for you know the elderly to get in. This is the view of the dashboard from the rear seat and it looks beautiful. All black interior including the ceiling to make it you know feel sportier, orange inserts glossy dark finish red ambient lighting on the charging port too the mirror is uh, manual there is an LED light and a mic up there a single pane sunroof or shall I call it moonroof the seats are pretty cushiony and comfortable the rear seats are pretty comfortable and spacious but not class ready my height is 5 feet 6 inches so if you are about that height, then you can easily sit, two of you. A third person can squeeze in for a short journey, but not for a long journey. The rear seat has only two adjustable headrests. So for the third person to sit comfortably will be a little difficult. It has got a rear AC vent with control and a charging port and a place to keep your mobile. It looks a little short to me. Hopefully it will keep the mobile in place. On top of the rear AC van, there is a slidable handrest for the driver. If you notice, the door at the bottom is pretty narrow. It also houses the speaker, space for keeping your water bottle and a tweeter adjacent to the door opening knob. Here is the one of the four speakers and one of the four tweeters. The door knob is well done, well finished in glossy black. Front door again opens 90 degree and it also has that uh, speaker, space for keeping your water bottles, the window controls. Driver side window pane is auto up and down and it has also got the tweeter and the speaker. So you can see the interior once again. I particularly like this instrument cluster which looks sporty, much better than the, that in Nexon. This is the infotainment system. The resolution is pretty good. The responsiveness, touch sensitivity is also very good. There is no complaint whatsoever. You get all the information, necessary information out here. Orange inserts uh, around the AC vents and a ultra system out there. This is matte finished in a steel gray. And here is the button for the blinking lights. You got an auto AC. By the way, the racer comes only with a manual gearbox, few cubby spaces, and uh, adjustable handrest, manual handbrake, six speed gear lever, which is uh, not buttery smooth, but it uh, does its job. You push to open the glove box, and inside it, the space is pretty big. And there's a compartment here also. It's having a light as well as, you know, cooled glove box. Start stop button out here. For a change, it doesn't have any mode. No modes are given here. Only one single mode. One way is good. Here is uh, Mr. Cannon, Bar Cannon, who is representing Frank Matters today. And uh, so, how are you, sir? Thank you. I'm very good, sir. 
How are you? What about the new cars that uh, you know your Prime Motors is going to get? Tata cars. So as of now, we have this Altos Racer, which we have recently launched on the month of uh, July. And uh, we will be having this Tata Curve, which is reaching in another week. And uh, this, uh, I want to tell you about this uh, Tata Altros. This is the Racer Edition. So this is uh, this is the R2. So this has a 120 uh, PS maximum power, and then this has a 170 Newton meters maximum torque. We have this uh, 360 camera as well, and we are having this uh, six airbags. And we have this IRA functions also, which right. is a safety function. Right, right, right. And this has a maximum speed from 0 to 100. If you want to go from 0 to 100, it will give you in 11.3 wow. seconds. Great. And we have this R16 alloy wheels, and we have this projector headlamps with uh, uh, DRLs and fog lamps. And we sport spoiler as well on this one right, right. from the base variant. Fantastic. Yes. Fantastic. So, are you giving any discount out here? Yes, sir. We are giving discounts on uh, Altos. Not exactly on this model because uh, this is a new model. So, right. on the older versions, we are giving up to 45,000 discount. That's good. That's good. Subscribe to Kiyakini. If you don't like it, please like it. And like the video, like it. Share it. For such unique analysis of Tata Cup, Thank you.